Alright, and welcome back to Final Fantasy Type-0 HD <coughs> Black. And, uh, now that I saw night and shit around this campsite, uh, I guess I'm gonna go talk to the four motherfuckers that I could talk to, which, uh, is... I don't know why the hell it takes them two hours to have a mini ass conversation with everybody, but yeah, I just talked to the four motherfuckers they want me to talk to. God damn. You sure cough a lot sometimes, Remsky. Remsky, <laughs> Nikki. Okay. What? Oh, I'm fine. It's just a minor case of asthma. Asthma? Can you still go on mission? Dr. Aratia has given me her permission. Oh. If you're seeing Mother, then you'll be fine. Yeah. I agree. You know she already said she's going to die. I'm always fine. Right now, I'm feeling even better than usual. Right? Huh? Yeah, for sure. If the Empire shows up right now, we could own them. All of you are so strong you are. I suppose I ought to work a tad harder if I'm going to keep up now. Aw, you can worry about that when we get back. No need to rush. Yo, on a real, yo, Sink reminds me of that, uh... You wanna play? Like, yo, Sink reminds me of that chick from fucking, uh, what the hell is that fucking show? The one that Ariana... Grunt of oh, that chick, cat from uh Victoria's, yo, that chick, that Ariana Grande was playing and shit. So, Trey, do you ever feel like you've done something before when you know you haven't? You mean deja vu? <coughs> yeah, kind of. It's been happening to me a lot lately. I can't say I've never experienced it. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I don't think I've felt it as strongly as you. Well, essentially, frequent deja vu can be attributed to problems in the part of your brain that stores memories, or when you're suffering schizophrenia. Uh, never mind. He's like, yeah, fuck all that psychological mumble jumbo and shit. The calm appears to be working fine. Ramsky seems to be able to use magic. <laughs> she called her Ramsky. So must be doing all right. Maybe it's like a jammer. What do you mean? I can't say for sure, but I get the feeling something is interfering with our communications. But what could it be? Don't know. Alright. So, Queen. Sice and I will keep watch. You can rest now. Yeah, I know. Huh? Worried about Makina? What? That's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, he didn't have to get so angry. What was that? She probably feels that her words are what set him off. Hmm? Oh, is that what that's about? <laughs> no need for her to feel guilty. If she hadn't said it, I would have. <laughs> Indeed. But when did he learn about his brother? It didn't seem as if he had known from the beginning. It must have been in Militus. I saw him. He was talking to the Commandant. What, that Baldy? What'd he want? <laughs> Machina got suckered just like that. It's more than that. He feels stuck. Nothing's working out for him. <laughs> Damn. That idiot sure thinks way too hard. You don't think enough, Nine. You kidding me? I'm a think tank, yo. <coughs> what does that even mean? Uh -oh. uh, never mind. King, Sice, it's our shift. You two get some rest. Roger that. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. I'm a think tank, yo! The fuck? <laughs> so, 
Machina's still not back yet? Maybe the Imperial forces got him. If they found him, they would have come here by now. Well, either way, if he takes any longer, we'll have to leave him behind. Hmm? Sorry I wasn't back sooner. What happened out there? The... The White Tiger. White Tiger? You mean, the enemy? Oh, uh, I have news! The enemy? No! What? Oh, Machina! I'm glad you made it back! Ah! Uh, be glad later! Is it the enemy? Uh, 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 no! The comm is responding. I've reached the Dominion. What the fuck did whatever? Goodbye. Let's head your way around the view east from current location. Something, something, something. Oh, Lorica. Really? Fuck you. Is that a cactus war? Mm hmm. Not trying to fuck with no goddamn cat or I don't fuck with them damn thousand point needle shit. But I am curious. Oh shit. Fuck. This will be a good opportunity for me to get niggas levels up. That's all I gotta say about this place right now. I think that's pretty much what I did last time too. And I think this is going to come an opportunity for me to like even out more of my team. Oh shit. Fuck! Okay. Oh. I was like, why the hell won't they let me leave? Fuck it. Continue. Hold it. Nope. Fuck you. It always destroy the Colossus as fast as I possibly can. Because they backhands take up way too much hoe. I'm going in one more time. That's it. Just to gauge this shit. Nigga! Put rolling on the ground, you bitch, nigga. Nope. Fuck you. Fuck! Hold it. And. Nothing, I don't think nothing momentous like that great is going to happen until I get back to academia. So I'll see you there. All right, an airship is coming to pick us up. Cool. Let's head back to Google. I could definitely do that. Glacierman's 842RG. Andoria, Queen of Concordia, was assassinated in the Militesi capital city amidst peace talks. In regards to this tragic event, the kingdom prepared a statement for all of Orients to hear, which claimed that Rubrum's Agito cadets were involved and publicly condemned them. In the same month, Concordia's provisional government formed an alliance with Militess. Behind a pretext of protection, the Azure Dragon Crystal was placed under the Empire's supervision. The Empire was now in possession of the crystals from three of the four crystal states. Now, Militess and Concordia made preparations to simultaneously invade Rubrum as allies. The first battle of Judeca. Judeca, nigga. They accuse us of sending assassins after Queen Andoria and Imperial Marshal Sid because they believe we are unhappy with the terms of the truce. 
When such wild accusations are made and accepted, it does not say much about the laws of Orients. How could this have come to pass? Wasn't there anything we could have done? The question is, what was Class Zero doing during all of this? They are the ones being accused, are they not? Yes! Where is Class Zero now? If they had but testified before our tribunal, this would not be happening! They have been reported missing inside Militess, but I hear they are back in Rubru now. Yes, they're back. Reporting back, sir. Submit your mission report. The Consortium may choose to open an inquiry. You mean... that's all you have to say? After everything we've just been through? Just tell us. Why didn't you answer our transmissions? We didn't receive any. Our communications couldn't reach you either. What a load of crap, yo! You saying that all of our comms just died all at once, huh? The Inquiry Board believes you may have intentionally cut off communications. What? Welcome back. You are free to rest until further notice. Let's go. No, now I want to fuck him up. They certainly made the situation worse for us. That's for sure. Without a doubt, Class Zero is to be held accountable for this turn of events. Still, if we're to regret our failures... Ridiculous. Ridiculous? Might I remind you? Those cadets are your... <coughs> That's enough talk about Class Zero. Everyone... We must focus on addressing the looming crisis that is unfolding before us. <coughs> True. The Militus Concordia Coalition Force is preparing to invade our territory, even as we speak. If we don't take the appropriate measures... We shall utilize the Verboten Eidolon. Ver what? But the Verboten Eidolons... ...have not been allowed for use ever since the Great War. You, more than anyone, must know why they were banned, Chancellor. To begin with, sir, I don't mean to offend you... ...but there is not a single person alive who is capable of controlling Verboten Eidolons. The decision was made... ...by Lady Setsna. The Sea Setsna? She's going to help us? Can we assume, then, that Lady Setsna believes there to be a genuine threat to the Vermilion Bird territories? Well, if that is the case, there is nothing more for us to debate. Is that correct? This is truly ridiculous. Time really flies. It's... Check up time. We can start with you. So come to sorcery right now. It's gonna be another one of them shits where I have to use a person. Nope. Nice to see you made it back from Militas. Was there a run? Were you worried? Nope. No, I wasn't worried. I had faith that you kids would be alright. Mother. Um Am I... okay? Something wrong? It's just... I've been having a lot of deja vu lately. And then Trey... sort of scared me. Really? Oh, I have to go. Mother, could we talk later about my deja vu? You're in perfect health. Both body and mind. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Thanks. I think they way too trusting of her. I want to know exactly why the hell they trust her so much. Tears remember only four out of damn. 23. Really? Why the fuck the main mission shit is only keep going up like one level? She still don't got no extra shit to sell nobody? God damn. 
Oh fuck. I just saw that jump running over there. I'm like, I never catch that character one time. Oh, but it dropped something. Cactus War Blossom. Alright. What up? This is D Black, and welcome back to Final Fantasy Type Zero HD Black. And, uh, last time I played this game, when I stopped, I was like, fuck it. I got my ass whooped kind of last time. So I was like, nigga, I'm putting at least one person in secret training mode, and I chose King. And unlike the PSP version, apparently in this version, they decided uh they was gonna let this nigga level up four times so now king is at level 38 making him my most leveled up character but uh i'm i'm still more partial to ace so i'm going back to ace and i'm gonna see what uh i could do with him because i don't even know where i was and right now i'm only biding biding my time because right now i'm also downloading the uh DLC so that I can finally continue to play Dragon Age Inquisition and is pretty much going he's like if you go and look at it from like I guess a lore standpoint it's going to be in between my final battle with Corypheus and that shit because I want to keep playing with Cassandra but I can't right now nigga he wants to talk to Rim again no, I'm not doing that. That's just not going to happen. I'm not earning no s ranking shit. At all. Uh, uh, if anybody actually watched my last videos for this, I just want to say my bad for like uh, blowing out my mic. I don't even know how many times, but I hope I corrected it a little bit because I lowered... I forgot what... I don't know why, but I just completely forget how high or low I usually keep my mic so that it doesn't fuck up like that. Oh shit. Despite what Dr. Aracia says, I cannot dismiss Class Zero's actions. We are in this predicament because of them. And as Class Zero's commanding officer, don't think you're off the hook either. Of course not. I accept full responsibility for their conduct. Ooh. Although having left the front line some time ago, I take it one of the four champions of Rubrum can still fight. You will take part in the next mission, and once again bring glory. If you are able to lead our forces to victory, then I will pardon Class Zero for their recent transgressions. You are too kind, Commandant. I will do all in my power to live up to your expectations. Your class zero didn't do shit. What can a walking corpse like him do? Oh, uh, when I uh, fuck. You know, sometimes you can be quite cruel. We all know that the Ice Reaper is a broken vessel. The best Grossame can do is pass on his knowledge. Sending him onto the battlefield would merely add to the list of casualties. I'll have him provide support for the Lucy. Besides, I'm more concerned with what happens after the battle. It's about high time that we showed Dr. Aratia her proper place. Yeah. So you would have Class Zero and Crossame die in battle just in order to oust Dr. Aratia? The end of Class Zero will be the end of that woman as well. We will surely suffer great casualties in the coming battle. And it is more than likely that we will lose. Then, it would only be prudent to rid ourselves of those who might get in. This nigga's an asshole. I will not allow that woman to control the consortium after the war. All I ask is that you not involve the Chancellor and I in your schemes. Alright, so, I know, okay, what the hell does this nigga want? A situation has arise and I need Class Zero's assistance. See, six bombs in the central. I gotta go all the way back over there. Can I help you? Oh, so I gotta bring Makino with me? Come on, son. Probably some more bullshit when she could like. Yo, these Class Zero niggas are a bunch of fuckboys. 
kill them niggas. So, sign Machina. I never, like, that's my problem with these types of games is once I get used to using, like, a certain, like, certain style of people, then I never switch up who I'm using, which is why I never use people like Machina. And I tried to use Rim, but she has, like, these awkward-ass movements, which fucks with me. Come along, Machina. I promise now I have matters of great import, import to discuss with you. Oh, here we go. More fuck shit is like, yo. Class zero, but fuck niggas. What do two division heads want with me? You certainly have quite the attitude for someone who has no accomplishments. No accomplishments? I've contributed more to our victories than no. Then who? That is not your only task. We have yet to receive any reports from you regarding Class Zero. Did you not volunteer for this assignment? Uh, oh, about that. I thought this matter only involved the Commandant. So, the entire consortium's against Dr. Horatia now. Is that it? So while soldiers are sacrificing their lives on the field, you sit and conspire against one of your own? Watch your tongue! You wanted this assignment to be given to you instead of Rem to Kim, did you not? That's... Let us end this futile bickering, then. Our only wish is to bring to light whatever it is the Doctor is hiding. So, tell us about Class Zero. Class Zero trusts the Doctor implicitly. No, it's more than that. They all refer to her as Mother, and love her deeply, as if they were family. Hmm. So the Doctor can make them do whatever she says. I trust that there is more to your report? Class Zero is comprised of highly dedicated cadets who remain emotionally detached when it comes to battle. Even if their comrades are dying, they put the mission first. They think nothing of sacrificing their own. I see. So the good doctor has created deadly weapons of war. But they did save lives whenever possible. Hmm? Well, I'm not sure what the doctor's thinking. I don't think she even tells them exactly what she's thinking. What are you talking about? You just informed us a moment ago that the Doctor and Class Zero share a deep emotional bond. Class oh, Zero only fights as they are ordered. And they do it for the Doctor and no one else. Hmm. Perhaps she fears information will be leaked. So, as of yet, you haven't verified any suspicious activities. Is that correct? Yes. Well, it's still too early to draw any conclusions. Continue your surveillance. Yeah, I got it. In so doing, you honor your brother's death. <laughs> I heard about your brother. Most tragic. You should fulfill your duties on this mission for your brother's sake. Wouldn't you agree? You, yes. you know they don't give two fucks about his brother. Teacher, try to be a little more timely with your reports. I understand how difficult it must be for you to investigate those with whom you work, but I am afraid this is necessary. I don't mind. The members of Class Zero aren't exactly my friends. Excellent. Still, it must be taxing to keep your cover operating alone amongst such well-trained cadets. Shall we have Rem assist you in your continued surveillance of Class Zero? There's no need for that. I mean, no. I'll be fine. There's no hey, need I'm pretty sure Rem wouldn't do it anyway. To involve her. Very well. Just don't forget to keep us updated. Yeah, I 
got it. We'll wait and see what happens. Although we're investigating the doctor, we want to believe in her as much as everyone Quit lying. else. You may go. Hmm. It was quite fortunate for us that Izana Kunigiri had a younger brother. So long as his brother's death is with him, he won't develop camaraderie with Class Zero. He's a perfect agent. All this fuckboy shit. An Agito cadet. I am Izana's brother. A member of Class Zero. Rem's childhood friend. You remember all that shit, nigga. Fuck, nigga. Actually, never mind, yo. I need 5,000 for the one I actually want to use. Still, yo. Fuck, nigga. Increase all magic by 12. God damn. Still, that shit costs a lot. Shit. Uh, even though, uh, the shit that I wanted to get is all ready to go, I'm, I'm still trying to explore. The Great Portal. Go to Sorcery. Cause the doctor might need something. Uh, oh, she right there, so fuck it. Oh, why the fuck is Queen here? Whatever. I sincerely doubt you two. Extras have risen to the level of my precious children, but it might be assuming to see you try to prove yourself. Damn, yo, everybody want me to do some shit. Uh, oh my god, so much bullshit to do for no goddamn apparent reason. Does it have to be Rem or this nigga? Uh, I don't know, fuck it. Uh, push back the ace. Cause I could probably do it if I do it in that room. I just had to defeat people with Blizzard Bomb. Fuck, I ain't wanna go in there. It's all about the promotion. Wait. How do it? Oh yeah, armament. I don't know why the hell you. Whatever. RF, I have to switch it back to Blizzard Bomb. Cause I don't know why I never thought about doing this before, but yeah. As far as I know, I could just go over here, do the combat simulation. There's one. I don't know how many I need to get. I wasn't paying attention. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Fuck it. Come on, son. He didn't die from that. Fuck you. Man, I could have been doing that other one right there. They're really not good at hitting me. Eight, I need to get 30, fuck it. I made that rifle burst on him. Burst is really not a good move at all. That's one thing that I learned. Bam. Well, spray me. Hurry up, nigga. Come on, everybody get close. Three birds with one stone, nigga, fuck a two. Come on, son. They ain't give me shit. Got that life hand on. They ain't give me nothing. That's all I'm doing this shit for is just to get these shit. Come on. Where y'all all at? Oh. All together. Fuck it. That's the only thing that keeps me alive in this bullshit. Oh, there you go, fuck it. That's why I should have just brought the MP charge shit with me. Oh, well. Uh, as long as I stay out range, I should be able to do it. Now I gotta bring them in range because I have the shit now. I just need to get all of them together. I don't think I hit. Oh, yeah, I did hit the last one. Fuck it. I got 17. Where all up, nigga? All y'all come together. Fuck it, I didn't get the last one. 
And that's what happens when you fuck with AC. Nope. Nope. Wrong one again. Nope. Fuck. Oh. Okay. I really need that MP charge. Nigga, I'm over here using life's burst and shit, and they keep giving me fucking. I mean, the life hand and shit, and they keep giving me fucking super burst. Why are these niggas over here trying to make them rifle burst? Thank you! Fuck! Oh, that's all I've been trying to do, man. Just do, oh shit, they getting too close. On time. Yeah, keep chasing after me, nigga. Alright, now I just need to get all of them together. They're pretty close. Got him. Come on, son. I'm almost done. Alright, I got it up. Alright. Oh, they all together? Fuck it. Nigga, am I not done yet? Oh, I got five more. Well, I'm almost done with this shit. Come on. Thank you. A lot quicker than last time. If I actually switched my cars the way I should have, then I could have did this already. Whoa! All right, I got it. Now I can keep dodging until I get close to him. Kill all of them. Now I actually need an HP charge. There you go. Oh, I still got enough to do another one. Fuck it. It's my lucky day. I can end it right here. I only need to hit two of them. Come on, son. Get closer, nigga. Hold that. Oh, and that was the end of that one? Fuck it. See? And I don't even waste no days when I do that, too. I ain't even realize. Actually, I think I did realize I could do that on the PSP version, but the thing is, I don't think I had the ability to swap between people like I do in this one. So I need to go back to the guy. Wait, no, that was in sorcery, right? Yeah. Cause this chick asked me to do it. Sorcery. You look well. The crypt. Twelve jewel rings. I don't know what those do, but still. Wait. This shit done. Alright, so huh. that's gonna be a while. It's like all I'm gonna say is it's it's obviously going to be after the fact because it's already been after the fact. But yeah, I know I'm going to cut out that shit because my whole goal in doing that combat simulation shit was just to get the things that I needed. And I got them. So yeah. Bye, Shark. I'm pretty sure I got those already. So yeah. They making, it, they making this too easy for me. Like, oh, seven shards? Yeah, I got those. Oh, you need some Fantoma? Yeah, I got that too. I'm going everywhere. I really don't want to get that one chick my shit though. Keep talking. High right, potion of pain. Oh shit, what she want? Oh, you're that nah. money grubbing Carla chick, aren't you? Money grubbing? I prefer the term blazing merchant. Uh, <laughs> you know. With all the stunts you've been pulling, I'm surprised you haven't gotten in trouble with the administration. You know you're not supposed to be selling your wares here. The Tribunes and Queesters are all oblivious. It's not hard to pull the wool over their eyes. Oh, Carla. Mm. This is a rare sight. Are you friends with Class Zero now? But of course, sir. I'm doing exactly what you taught me. I help people with no thought of reward for myself. I'm impressed, Carla. Such a wonderful attitude to go with your excellent grades. You class zero kids should follow her example. Yeah. Huh. Adults are such pushovers. Well, let me know if you ever need anything. It's yours for the right price. Those niggas are stupid. Get a good look, Nine. That there was a monster. Yeah, a real gill grubbing goblin, yo. <laughs> yo, here's the thing, yo. If, as dumb as Nine is, 
he knows it's like, yo, you a money grubbing bitch, and the rest of them can't see it. How dumb are the fucking adults in this shit? But hey, yeah, I got days, nigga. I got bars for days. All right, I got that ether. I might actually be able to do the uh, the other shit, but I'm going through all these little things to try to figure out exactly what I can do. Okay, I just got to the regular room, so I'm going to the live. And there's always going to be that same chick in there, but like, man, I want all your SP and shit. Fuck it, I got enough. It's just going to take up a lot, though. Three mega lexes. Really not worth it. And that's it for this room. Okay. This is always my goal is just to try to do all the objectives wherever I can. Terrors. Ain't nothing ever go down on a chocobo ranch, man. So there ain't no point in me going there. Uh, yep, nothing over here. Oh, I never went to the back back room for oh fucking Crystarium too. Oh well. Uh, I thought I was done with all this shit. But there's more. Uh huh. -huh. This nigga. Why does Nine always have to interact with him? You again? Hmm. You gonna just ignore me with a sigh, yo? Huh. I bet you don't have any friends, do ya? Always in here reading, huh? Yeah, you nerd. your eye did it the lexicon of arcane theory volume 78 is a superlative reference for novices and masters alike it contains all you need to know about magic no hold up yo that's a dictionary <coughs> and one in a set of 105 am i to understand you've already read the first 78 volumes what are you implying this is my sixth time through <gasps> oh, what's the matter? Well, I'll admit I was wrong. If you're that well read, then you don't need friends. So you still take as a given that I have no friends? Yup. <laughs> she nod her head, yes, too. You that well read, I guess you don't need. Oh, no. Yo, they got a secret shit on this side, too? Oh, shit. No, you just picked up the book. Fuck it. Name was Tone. 14 set. Uh, only the chosen may enter that land. The chosen will touch all creation and obtain that which is true. So there's nothing uh, monumental about that shit. He just picked up a book. Ain't no more books? Oh, fuck it. What's this one? Lexicon of Arcane Theory. Like anyone's gonna read a thick book like that. They might. You never know. I wouldn't, but fucking library. Just call it a goddamn library, man. Fucking her story. Good work. I'm trying to sound all fancy and shit. Nigga, I already saw the god. Good work. Yeah, I was about to say, yo, I'm pretty sure I already proved that there's a character all around here because I've seen it already. I wish the camera was fucking zoomed in, yo, because I hate the way the camera moves in this shit, yo. Fuck my head. Why the hell don't this one nigga ever show up in here? It's just a room that happens to open. Whatever. So, oh yeah, I wanted to go to, like, the back side of the classroom and shit. No, I could continue with my lessons, but I don't really feel like... I might. You never know. Uh, so, right there, there ain't nothing I can do. Let me guess, it's gonna be another flashback on the bench here where this nigga can talk to... Nope. Fuck it. Oh well. Damn, I'm already done with everything over here. Well, not all the tasks, but like... Pretty much most of everything else though. Except for that stupid shit where this one motherfucker wants Rem to get an S rank on, um... On, I forgot which expert trial, but one of the expert trials. But there was something that they wanted in here, right? This is the last thing I have to check. Yeah, there's one dude. What he wanted. I guess I'll accept that one for now, but since the DLC for Dragon Age Inquisition 
is done. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop this shit for now. Uh, oh yeah, I think I do have a continuation on one of my other videos for Type Zero. So this is probably gonna be the end of this video then. And with that being, wait, I ain't even wanna save it right there. But fuck it. With that being said, this is gonna be the end of that. I'm gonna end up going into secret training again. And see you next time. Blackout.